Universal Studios is one of Florida's greatest attractions. So, in terms of which is the better, Disney World or Universal Studios, I don't. Maybe they're equal. I mean, I'd really have to think about that. But I'm doing a ranking of my favorite rides from Universal Studios. In fact, um, this is not really a ranking. I'm just telling you which ones are my favorite. Um, I did one for Wet n Wild, uh, which Wet n Wild water slides are my absolute favorite, and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And also, I'd like to know what your favorite water slide from Wet n Wild was. Um, so, today I am going to be talking about my absolute favorite rides from Universal Studios. I hope you guys enjoy it. So one ride that really stands out is the Men in Black ride. Now I thought this would just be a walkthrough and it would just be like a history of Men in Black. Well it turns out it's much more. Now you may be confused with what I just said. I watched a video of it and it didn't really look all that interesting. You just walk through some halls and then you exit out the other side. But this is Universal's answer to the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. In fact, it is freaking incredible. I mean, you shoot aliens. I mean, you don't get to shoot actual aliens. It's more like the targets that they're holding. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is actual aliens with, like, their cardboard. Uh, sorry. Um, I, I kind of uh, was confused there because I wasn't sure if there was targets. But you do shoot the aliens. Although it's not as satisfying as I want it to be, you know, killing aliens with guns, it's still a really cool ride. The guns, I mean, just the thought of becoming a Men in Black, that, that is just, that thought is just so incredible, you know? Fighting aliens, defending the world. Um, now, it's lowest on my list of favorites because it's just Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin, but Universal's answer to it. It's still a lot of fun though. If you want to take your friend or your father on that ride, because it's a two-seater, just like the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. It is still a lot of fun. Even though it's not as satisfying as I want it to be, it's still really great fun. If you go to Universal Studios, definitely check it out. So, um, another one of my favorites is the Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. Really, this ride is freaking incredible. When Despicable Me came out in 2010, it became a phenomenon, the star of Illumination Entertainment. And when I saw Universal Studios add a ride of Despicable Me, I was excited. You know, I really wanted to go on it. I expected it to just be great fun. You know, as an adult, I wasn't excited about it when I was a kid. But the ride, once you get in, it freaking blew me away. You know, it's just a lot of fun. You feel like you're part of the movie. And it's got a lot of heartwarming moments. You actually feel like it's a part of the movie. And you're actually hanging out with the characters. The house is pretty cool too. The only nitpick, and it's with any ride really, the extra long line. But that's not really the fall of the ride. The long line is a good thing because it means that I'm not the only one that really loves the ride. It's a lot of fun. Way better than Shrek 40 and way better than a lot of other 40 rides. Sorry Transformers 40, but... You were beaten out by a cartoon, bald guy, and his minions. I totally recommend Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. It is a must ride at Universal Studios. You'll probably hate yourself for the rest of your life if you miss that ride. Seriously, go on it. My favorite ride at Universal Studios, I knew it from the moment I saw it. I'm not even going to give an announcement. You all know what it is, The Simpsons Ride. It's Animat's favorite, and it's my favorite too. This ride is not only the best ride at Universal, the best 40 ride at Universal, but it's like a movie. It's like an actual adventure. It doesn't feel like a simulation. It feels like you're actually in the world, and you, you're you riding the roller coaster with the Simpsons. You're actually going through all of this. Now, it's not as shaky or realistic as uh, I would like it to be, but that's not a problem. It's still energetic, a lot of fun. The animation, while not the best Simpsons animation, it's still really well executed. The 3D, oh man, it was incredible. You know, just the atmosphere of the Simpsons world. And it was funny, you know. The gags that they pull off when you're waiting for the ride and when you're in the ride, just 
gut-wrenchingly hilarious. You know, the Simpsons humor is there. It is the Simpsons we all know and love. It's not the Simpsons that has gone downhill. If you go to Universal Studios, get on the Simpsons ride, really. This ride is freaking incredible. It, it seriously is. So, let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite Universal Studios ride? I know I left some on the list, and I don't hate the Transformers ride, but it was just kind of generic, you know? Also, there were a couple I didn't go on at Universal Studios. The Fast and Furious ride and the Mummy ride. But, you know, at a park like Universal, you're bound to miss a couple. I also miss the E.T. ride. Also, one more thing. The Simpsons Land is freaking atmospheric and just really creative, you know? It's a lot of fun. Go check it out. They they have Moe's in there and like the... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm probably messing up a lot. But like, it's really cool to see Springfield in real life, you know? Like, it's really cool to visit places like Moe's, Krusty Burger. Um, there's a lot of uh, other places that I wasn't aware were in The Simpsons, like the Cletus Chicken Shack. But it is an incredible ride and just really fun to be in The Simpsons Land. Actually, guys, I have made a video on my other channel, Ethan the Director, on The Simpsons Land. So if you want to go see it, go check it out. But if you do go to Universal Studios, do not miss The Simpsons Ride or The Simpsons Land. It really feels like you're in the world of The Simpsons. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. One more thing, Universal Studios, please make a future on the ride. That ride would be freaking incredible. You know, just... It'll probably blow the Simpsons right out of the water. Just saying. See you guys later.